What's up my friends, welcome back, you're watching Heart Video Order Stuff and today for you I'm checking out this, the OC LCM 170E 10-bit 17-inch production monitor. I want to find out what it can do, whether it's good value and if it's just any good. It's an unsponsored review so I'm going to be critical. Now, it's time to get on with it but I just need to work out how to get out of this damn monitor. Ah, I know, roll the intro. <laughs> As ever, links to everything mentioned in this video I've popped in the description box below, and of course I mentioned this isn't sponsored, so your support means a lot to me. If you could hit the notification bell next to your subscribe button, it just means the world to me, plus you won't miss a video. So what is the catchily named LCM170? Well, the OC LCM170E, just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? It's a 17.3 inch production monitor, which is 10 bit. It's HD 1920 by 1080, but of course it will accept higher resolution signals. In terms of brightness, it's 300 nits, which is not that bright, but it's not supposed to be. That aside, it's a 10-bit monitor, and that's the big deal. There's a huge difference between monitors that are 8-bit and monitors that are 10-bit. 8-bit monitors can display around 16.7 million colors, 10-bit, a billion. So it's not high resolution and it's not super bright. And yet, have you seen the price of this thing? At the time of filming, it's a little over $1,300, which for a 17 inch 10 bit production monitor, that's nuts. I like to compare small HD when comparing these kind of products, as I consider them probably the brand leader at this time. And the closest product they have in their range is something like the Vision 17. And yeah, it's 4K and it has things like local dimming, HDR capability, but it's $10,000? Now these are not comparable products at all, and you don't need to tell me that in the comment section, but if you need a 10-bit production monitor and don't have $10,000, this is a really intriguing offering. Anyway, moving on, the LCM170 is available with either V-mount or AB-mount battery slots. In terms of power options, it has two USB outputs, which is super handy for charging phones and other devices, one LIMO output, and also DC and AC power inputs. In terms of inputs, it has one HDMI input and two SDI in and out. It comes with a large sun hood, and if you plan on using this monitor outside, you will definitely need it, as I mentioned, not super bright. You can have this monitor just freestanding using the feet that come with it, or you can pop it on a stand as I've done here. But anyway, diving a little more into the software side of things, it comes with a load of built-in lookup tables. OC have almost all commonly used log curves covered, so chances are you'll be catered for. If not, you can upload your own custom lookup tables, no problem. It's also cool that the LCM170 supports some of the really large pro color gamuts like DCI-P3 and BT2020. You can find these within the color management section in the menu. As you'd expect, you get all of the professional exposure tools you'd need, waveform, false color, zebras, and vector scope. It also has focus assist, anamorphic de-squeeze, and a super cool feature, the picture by picture and picture in picture modes, which I'll go into in a little bit. But what about the build quality? Well, overall, I'm really impressed. It's mainly metal, which is good. The whole of the chassis and rear panel are metal and this front frame you can see is just hard plastic. Everything you mount onto this monitor is also metal, so the feet, the C-stand mount, so it feels chunky and has some heft. It has these five custom buttons that you can see along the front which you can assign to your most used functions. I've got it set up with things like zebras and switching between picture and picture modes really handy. The screen itself has a matte finish and that can be good for dealing with reflections, but I find sometimes matte finishes can look a little bit lower contrast. Is it just me? I thought it not being a 4K display would bother me, but in fact, I'm always viewing it from a few feet away and I never really notice. If I was to really pixel peep and get close and have a look, you might notice, but you know, it's a larger screen. You shouldn't be super close to it. Anyway, now it's time to show you what this thing can do. And the first thing I want to demo is the picture by picture mode. It's a pretty cool feature. You can have two separate camera signals side by side. You can use the two SDI inputs for this or just one of the SDIs and the HDMI input. I tend to use cameras that just have HDMI. And so I picked up one of these 
brilliant little HDMI to STI converters from Blackmagic. It works beautifully. And I'll tell you what, I'll link it below if you, if you need to find this. Similarly, you get picture in picture with one of the images just on top and in the corner. And it's brilliant. You can toggle between this. If you set this to one of your, your function buttons, you can set this and just toggle between them. Next, I'm gonna go through the pros and cons of the LCM170 and I'm gonna start with the pros because I'm a glass half full kind of guy. So firstly, this monitor is insane value and I can't really find anything that comes close. Can't ignore it, it's outstanding. I really liked the image from this. The colors were lovely, gorgeous, and accurate. It doesn't have a ton of contrast compared to some monitors, but yeah, I would say good, solid image. It's also lovely on the eye. I feel like I could spend a long time looking at this monitor and not get fatigue. This is compared to some other monitors, which can be really tiring on the eye. The picture by picture mode is fantastic. It's such a great feature for a product that costs so little. All of the exposure tools work really well and it's pretty full featured in that way. I mean, these are things that I would expect from this kind of monitor, but I do have to give it credit. Lastly, the build quality, it's pretty hard to fault. It's a solid unit. I suppose because weight wasn't really concerned for this product, it has been made in a chunky way and that just gets thumbs up for me. And onto the cons, well, it's not 4K and this didn't bother me whilst using it. It's kind of a would be nice thing, but 4K would push the price sky high. It's not one of these super high contrast monitors, but on the flip side to that, I did find it very pleasing on the eye. It's also not a bright monitor, which, you know, for some is important. This is gonna suit indoor shooting best, and it's worth acknowledging that brightness really wasn't the point of this monitor to begin with. Lastly, it only has one HDMI input, which I don't think will bother most people. I mean, this only bothers me. I think this is a product that is geared towards people who have cameras with lots of SDI outputs. So for most, I don't think this is gonna be a problem. Finally, to my opinion, and whilst overall I found I really liked this product, I did find that I was in sort of like a looping train of thought with it a bit. I'd think to myself, well, I'd really love it if it was 4K or if it was slightly higher contrast or if it was slightly brighter, but then I'd remind myself of what this costs. And after that, everything else considered, I can't really complain because everything else considered, it's a steal. In terms of who this monitor is for, I would say filmmakers and studios that are doing indoor work, they'll absolutely love this. And actually more serious YouTubers, I think will really enjoy using this. I've used this now for the last few videos I filmed. I've had it just here beside my main camera and it's been just such a lovely thing to have. And just another note, the excellent lookup tables that are built into this and the way that it displays colors as a result of them has been so reassuring when filming. I feel like I can really trust the image that I'm seeing on this monitor. It's, it's very honest and revealing and it just means that when I go to grade, I know exactly what I'm gonna get. So value is the biggest factor with this product. I do have one or two complaints on it, but because of that value, I find it really hard to dwell on them. Anyway, that's it for now. You can ask me questions about this product in the comments section below if you want to. I'm down there as much as I can be. I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. I've got a large archive of videos about videography on this channel of which YouTube has handpicked this video for you and the one underneath is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys. <laughs>